Hi everyone, I'm CC Yamato. Welcome to talking about chapter 76 of Card Captor Software Clear Card and also announcing a project that I've been working on and has kept me from being productive in anything else in my life. Anyway, it's uh, been a little over a month since we talked about the last two chapters, 74 75, which ended off with uh, Sakura and Shaoran in some kind of weird. It, it basically was revealed that, like, the Tomoeda that they've been living in since chapter 70 is. It's fake, or it's like a bottle universe, or something. It's like the, when Kaito uh, rewrote the universe in chapter like seventy or seventy one. Uh, I don't think he really rewrote the universe. I think he just kind of put everyone in a little bubble uh, that is uh, using the new universe's rules and story instead of actually like you know he didn't change the universe. Okay. Like it, it's, it's really hard to change reality. It's way easier to just make a fake reality, put it in a little bubble and then say there, you all live in here now and be happy. So that's what he did up in, uh, that's where we've been for the last few chapters. And eventually I'll manage to get the review chapters out on YouTube so that you could follow back up with that if you wanted to, because those chapters, I don't think are available on the clamp net, uh, YouTube channel anymore. They only keep like the, the most recent two up. So you should still be able to see 75 as of recording this and you can see 76. But honestly, by the time those other videos come out, those will definitely not be there, but they should be available for purchase on, I think Kodansha's website. Speaking of Kodansha, before we get into the chapter, let's also do one other bit of housekeeping. So we've been speculating all year that the series was about to end because last December they said the series was going to end on chapter 15 and or uh, book 15 rather. And we're basically up to that in the chapter count. Well, the series isn't over and they announced, uh, I think in July that the series would go into a 16th volume. So they just keep asking for more time and Kodansha keeps giving it to them. I don't blame them. I'm pretty sure Cardcaptor Sakura is the only thing keeping Nakayoshi in print right now. So if Clamp wants to keep writing the story, they're not going to say no. Okay, so let's talk about chapter 76. Like I said, the previous chapter ended with Sakura and Shaoran uh, cutting the moon in half and going inside a weird dimension that is inside the moon, which you will see if we just go ahead uh, and cut forward. Come on. There we go. Okay, so they're inside this... Uh, this weird dimension that's just made of bendy clock parts and otherwise just completely white space. Uh, the, the chapter, the pages here are just, uh, the crew that was left behind in Yukito's house. That's, uh, Tomoyo Akizu, uh, uh, that's Tomoyo, uh, Nakuru, Supi, Ariel, uh, Toya, Akiho and Kiro uh, have all been left behind. They were watching it on a live stream, but uh, yeah, the, the connection doesn't go through the moon. Go figure. So they will not be able to watch that. So here in the clock area, it's implied to have a very oppressive magical atmosphere that's hurting even Sakura. Uh, although I Still don't feel like that's actually all that impressive to say. Sakura, despite having a lot of power, we have said time and again, she is very untrained. Uh, but here we go. They have been following the watch. You saw that in the previous uh, page here. Uh, there is a a reviewer I follow, Cinzia, uh, who did an excellent breakdown of the series. She actually speaks Japanese, so she uh, likes to critique the, uh, the, the English translations that come out, which are done very quickly. I, I want to give the translator some slack when they, uh, mistranslate something. Uh, Cinzia doesn't, uh, she tears into them on a few of these things. One of them being, uh, this section here. Uh, I don't remember offhand exactly, uh, what the complaint was. Although I feel like it's, I feel like the English here actually captures the, the meaning, uh, just fine itself. It's stating that, uh, without the, the watch and the, the compass, that they would have gotten lost in the clock area because, you know, it's so, it's so warped. So like I said, I don't think it actually really uh, loses the meaning, but they follow the watch and they find the dragon. They, we, we actually ended on the dragon at the end of 75, but uh, yeah, we, we went back a little bit and watched them uh, make their way to it again. This is, it, it's not really spoiling anything. This is Kaito in some other form. So we zoom in. And Sakura decides to take the lead and speak to the dragon who can hear her. You can see it stand up here and acknowledge her. 
Uh, it's a very nice conversation that she has with it. She's very polite. It's it's Sakura. She's always like that. Uh, uh, despite trying to make a connection with the dragon, it's kind of hard to get through to it. I mean, it's not much of a conversationalist, but we skip ahead here a little bit and, you know, we see the dragon's eyes and Sakura is able to recognize them despite that. She still doesn't remember who Kaito is. She does recognize, uh, I don't know, the feeling associated with the eyes. And again, it's very clear that this is Kaito. So it's it's not... Like I said, it's, it's not a spoiler. Uh, uh, after that, though, she decides, you know, it's time to, you know, break the dragon out. Or I guess the dragon may be rejecting her. It is unclear exactly what this is. I'm, I don't think this is the dragon trying to attack them. And the reason for that is revealed a little later, uh, is a little later in the chapter. But basically, like, if, if you look down here, uh, she's looking like, if you look here, like she's the one calling to the dragon, asking it to come with her. And then you have something down here happening with the clocks and Shaoran notices a problem. And then you see all of this lightning nonsense. So I don't think this is the dragon attacking them. I think this is a, uh, a thing that is shown at the end of the chapter. But basically, this is an attack coming from outside. And cut away to the group uh, in Yukito's house. Uh, it's basically Akiho, despite that they can't see inside the moon she knows that she's going to be called up to play her part soon uh th this this was another part that was actually critiqued by Cinzia, uh where akiho actually says that we need to be sure we're ready to go but in japanese uh japanese doesn't have a lot of pronouns usually or you can rather you can drop the subject of a sentence uh when it's implied the tense that akiho speaks in actually implies that it is it's her she knows that she is going to go not the rest of them the, the rest aren't invited it's just akiho now we cut back into the clock room. I'm just going to call it the clock room, bottle room. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's the other side of the moon. So we cut back to the other side of the moon and Sakura is told by a version of Momo or a flashback or whatever that there is one more card left. So there's one more card left, which means we're putting to rest my theory of what would be needed here because the clock... Or the, the card that is needed is not the one that I thought it was. I, I figured there'd be a couple of cards left and one of them would be Rewind because Rewind wasn't in uh, the, the book realm from the 60s chapters. Uh, so I figured it would be appearing. But no, the card that she actually needs is obviously the one that was, uh, you know, set up 20, 30 chapters ago. It's the, the, the time card that was made out of uh, her mother's watch. Uh, the time card is what will be used to unlock the dragon uh, from its imprisonment. It sets this. It, this is a nice. This is a nice look. It's like it, it's a clock that's been sitting here and probably frozen, and she sets it moving. Then they try to flee from the moon, but it turns out that the dragon uh, doesn't want to go. Get the, and here it's uh, the language is again kind of unclear uh the, or rather the verbiage is unclear in english but it's more clear in japanese uh Shaoran points out that the dragon is not moving which either implies that it's either it can't leave or it, rather the way i interpret it and i think most of the rest of the other reviewers interpret it it doesn't want to leave uh it, it has been freed from that little ball that it was in but it does not actually want to leave the moon setting and the running theory is that because this is Kaito uh, and Kaito probably feels like either a, he can't leave or hear me out here. If he leaves this realm and enters the, the place where they are currently, it might destabilize the magic or something like there's the point is that there's a reason why Kaito in this form refuses to go through the moon and enter the world that they have been living in. And we don't know exactly what the reason is, but you know, we'll probably find that out next chapter because that is the end of the chapter we get right here. So we see these bolts come again and these bolts are very familiar way back in the, actually it was the chapter with rewind. Uh, we saw that Kaito had to fend off a, uh, a barrage of magical arrows that were attacking him in his home. And these appear to be the exact same arrows. And those arrows are shot out from the magical societies, uh, from, uh, from Europe that, uh, Kaito stole the book from, stole Akiho from, uh, and basically betrayed. So, they're still trying to kill him in this, uh, you know, bottle universe, wherever exactly they are in the cosmology. The 
the magical clans are still trying to kill Kaito. And they obviously can't because the door to the realm that he is currently in, this clock world, uh, you know, that's been slammed shut again. So for now, you, know, you can't really do anything to him. But that's basically where we are. That's where the chapter leaves off. Uh, and unfortunately, that's really all we get from this chapter. I'm going to see if I can open this and not get an ad. Give me a second. Okay, good. We can. <laughs> we didn't get an ad. Um, so that's that, that's where we are. It's actually a very short chapter. All they really did was bust into the clock world, uh, explore a little bit, find a dragon, talk to the dragon a little bit, let the dragon out, and then run away. Uh, th this is another short chapter, and I think this may or may not be the last chapter of what was going to be originally the final issue of... Uh, clear card uh, issue 15 but again as we've stated they've been extended for another book so that means we now have like six more chapters to go at least so I'll see you in the chapter 80s I guess when the series uh, actually finishes over here in chat did they eat the dragon no they did not eat the dragon the dragon is actually very large like see like look how look how big this is look how look how big Look how big this dragon is relative to, uh, look, how, look how big this dragon is relative to her. Okay. She, she, dragon could eat her. She's very tiny dragon's mouth, probably big enough to eat the whole thing in one bite. So yeah, short chapter, not much happening, probably going to get the final. I, I mean, I've, how many times have I said, we're probably going to get the final whatever, uh, in the next few chapters. Now it's probably since it's been extended out to another book, and we're basically at the final, like, climax, the final confrontation here. Uh, if we're going to get another whole book at, out of it, so that's another six or seven chapters, what, prob what that probably means is that we're going to get, I don't know, if I'm ballparking it here, we're probably going to get mm, three or four chapters of plot left and then two chapters of cleanup, similar to how, uh, similar to how the original card Captor Sakura ended where, uh, the conflict with Ariel ended in like chapter 47 or 48. Uh, and then the last two chapters of the manga were basically Sakura running around trying to give a bear to Shaoran. I know I'm being very glib and cutting down that entire arc but yeah that's that's basically how ccs ended there like the story the plot ended like two chapters before uh the the run of the manga ended the, the last few chapters had nothing to do really with the rest of the plot other than the love story between sakura and shaoran which we don't have to do because we're, we're totally good on that one like we, we cover it earlier uh right like in this chapter uh I'm pretty sure uh, Sakura is like, uh, yeah, I think right here. Uh, no, wait, no, that's that's about Akio. It, it, it was probably in the last chapter where she was like, you know, I'm glad to be here with my most important person or my most special person. I think, it, the, again, the translations, the translations have been a little weird. I'm a translator by trade. Uh, I'm not going to knock the translators for doing a slapdash uh, job overnight. Uh, I don't know exactly how long they get to translate these things. If it's anything like Crunchyroll, it's basically like you get like, I don't know, a day, uh, several hours. Uh, the the language and a dense like word density of these pages, not exactly like super dense. Uh, but, you know, this is this is several hours of work. I'm not going to knock them for it. Uh, but th you know, there, there's room for improvement and that's why, uh, like I said, I'll link it in the description. Uh, Cinzia does great, uh, breakdowns of the chapters and, uh, her own take on translation notes, uh, whenever chapters come out. Uh, and she goes way more in depth than I could with my, uh, very limited Japanese. Anyway, so moving on from talking about the chapter here. Because that's all there is to the chapter, so I guess I'll stop putting off the other thing uh, and talk about what the other announcement is. How do I want to talk about it? Screw it, I'll just be direct. I'm doing a podcast. Uh, 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 really early this year or late last year, uh, I was in conversation, I was having conversations with a uh, member on a Sakura fan group, helping them track down uh, tapes of card captors, the dub card captors by Nelvana. Uh, and I was guiding them through that process. Uh, we got to talking and it turns out that this individual, uh, Alex Summers, 
runs a podcast on the Deke dub of Sailor Moon. Uh, and, and that's that's the infamously, you know, uh, very 90s dub of Sailor Moon. So naturally, as we were discussing finding VHS copies of card captors, uh, the, the question came up of like, would you want to do a similar type of project with card captors? With you know, me being the subject matter expert and also possessing all 70 dubbed episodes of the Nelvana uh, card captors dub uh it was very much in a position where i could do that uh now you may remember uh a couple years ago at this point uh i had started a project called defending card captors where i was going through uh and i was doing what were effectively let's watches of the series and i only got a few episodes in there although i did record like i did record like 20 episodes uh but the pandemic got in the way Work got in the way, and also, to be entirely honest, uh, I wasn't feeling the project. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't getting a lot of viewership, and I honestly think that Let's Watches are honest or react. I mean, a Let's Watch is basically a react, and reacts are basically the lowest form of content on YouTube, uh, unless you were like personally involved in the creation of said medium, or you are uniquely qualified to talk about it. Uh, and while I am definitely like. You know, again, one of 10 people in the world who likes card captors, uh, I don't feel like I was actually contributing anything reasonable uh, to that. But so when the option when the option of doing a podcast came up with another person, uh, I felt like that might actually be a better way to do this. And uh, so between uh, between Alex, who has experience as a podcaster and me, who has uh, a lot of knowledge about card captors. Uh, we are going to do a podcast based on it and it's called Keepers of the Cloud. I had this, uh, I had this logo made by a, um, an individual whose, uh, Twitter, uh, handle will be down in the description and it will be a, yeah, it, it's exactly what I'm saying. It's Keepers of the Cloud, a card captures podcast that that's what the subtitle is. It's not on the logo because they didn't want that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, chat, Jeff. It's uh, Fiery Dance is the person who made this logo. Uh, so we have uh, we have one episode fully made, and that's going to be going up on the channel uh, imminently. I think uh, by the end of them, I think by the end of this weekend, I'm going to get it up there uh, because it's edited and ready to go. It's just you know I don't know how long it's going to take YouTube to uh, to edit it. It's also going to be available uh, at it, since it's a podcast. It's going to go up on podcasting uh, platforms. Uh, Alex is handling that one. You'll be able to listen to it wherever, uh, generally speaking, wherever podcasts are available. So it will be on, I guess, Apple, uh, maybe Spotify, if that's where, um, if that's where podcasts, uh, can be heard. Uh, and if you watch it on YouTube, it's going to go up on this channel, the CC Yamato channel initially, but it's also going to go up on its own channel, uh, where it can be, where it can grow its own following. Uh, and that's where it's going to start. We have, again, we have one episode done. Uh, we have another episode recorded. Uh, and presumably, as long as we can keep this relatively going, we're going to shoot to, you know, at least get one uh, one episode out a month. That's the initial plan. But, you know, there's a, th there's a lot to do. Uh, I might be looking into hiring an editor or something. Uh, and, and yeah, that's, that's where, uh, that's kind of where I'm going to go. Like I'm going to be rolling from clear card into, uh, basically mainlining keepers of the cloud, uh, as a, uh, as a main project going forward, as long as the two of us can keep going. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the big announcement. I, I mean, the, I, I'm excited to do it. It was, we've had a, like I said, we've got a couple of episodes in the can already. Uh, it's been a pretty good experience. We're working out the technical de uh, technical details of it, and my voice just cracked. Wow. I'm in my 30s, and my voice still cracks. Anyway, for the sake of not drawing this out, thanks, everyone, for watching. That was chapter uh, 76 of Car Captor Soccer Clear Card. Uh, the Keepers of the Cloud will be coming out imminently. Uh, I'll, I'll give a proper, like... I'll, I'll give a proper update when that actually happens. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to shoot to get them out probably by the end of this weekend. I need to confer with Alex uh, when he's uploading uh, 
the the mp3 version to uh uh to a uh, to a podcasting platform so until then uh thanks for watching i'll see you sometime early in september for chapter 77 maybe we'll actually see the resolution of the plot maybe kaito will stop being a dragon who knows we'll find out hopefully relatively soon until then thanks for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video